Okay, so we just finished going into preferences of Reflector and you saw the name of your computer and then you also set a password in order to be able to connect it. What I'm gonna do now is show you the next part which is actually how to get your screen reflected up on, reflected through your projector and on your big board. So mine's connected right now so that I can actually record the instructions that you're gonna go through. So you start here at the bottom of your screen and swipe up. Okay, so you just swipe up and then you have all these options right here. Mine's connected, that's why it says iMac. But in this area right here, it'll say AirPlay. You click it and then here's all the devices that all the machines that you have the option of connecting to. That's why we wanted to make sure that you knew the name of your computer. That way you could recognize it and also set a passcode. So when no, it, that prevents other people from being able to display their device on your screen. Unwanted people to display their device on your screen. So you can see here that I am reflecting. You can see what I have going on here. I'm going to open up Google Maps. Okay. I'm going to multitask. I have my camera. Twitter is here. Um, it's pretty cool. You're able to go through and, you know, run the apps that you want to in your class. Um, some features that you have. If you right click, I'm going to have to go up here. Mine's a little different. But if you right click, you have the option to enter full screen. So now I'm in full screen mode. In here, if I grab the corners, I can manipulate the size of the device in my full screen. I'm gonna hit escape so I can show you some more options. You can change the color of the frame. So I changed it over to white. Um, and you can also record your, it's kind of, you know, another option to screencasting. You can start recording what it is that you're doing in here on your device. So, um, and then I wanted to show you another feature. You can connect multiple devices to Reflector. So I have my iPhone, I'm going to connect to my computer and turn on mirroring. And now you can see that my phone, I have two devices. So if you had kids in your class and y'all were working on something, I've got my Minecraft over here and let's say everybody was building and working, you have the choice to allow them to display what it is that they were working on. Um, maybe y'all are typing notes or something and you ask somebody, hey, what's the answer to this? And they can enter their response. I don't know, that's just something. But yesterday we tested it and we had actually four devices on here running apps and simultaneously and we had no problem. That computer also had a lot of space allocated to it. And I think that's, that's why. But um, the connectivity and the speed of all that is gonna depend on your on your classroom computer. So that's it. And um, please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.